Since young age, spaces like Bazaar has always allowed me to freely roam around and kind of admire the colorful stores, full of materials, photos, sound, noise, and people. So growing up as a young girl around such an environment, wherever I went with my aunts or my mother, it was always a joyful experience for me. And it was one of my happy memories as well. So even despite the fact that how war or when the Taliban took power and how the politics of that time really impacted on women's lives, it was like a very huge turn or let's say like a very huge shift of perspective. But after the Taliban regime, beauty parlors once again reopened. Not only such businesses like increased in bazaar or public space, but also owned small businesses such as fashion boutiques, women's restaurants, tailor shop, and the presence of female associates were really visible. And this was pretty much my recent visit back to Afghanistan in 2010, 12, and 13. It was really wonderful for me to see such fragile changes made by Afghan women in post-Taliban society. And once again, exploring Bazaar as a consumerism space for families, I became very interested in the growing Afghan hybrid visual culture in relation to gender norms in public spaces. My textile project, Bazaar, a recollection of home, pretty much kind of builds a cultural location that celebrates women's representation and their presence in the workplace, in the urban society. So I guess these sort of, you know, representation were really present by making female figures as the centerpiece in this exhibition. In this exhibition, I use mainly materials such as fabric, which is also draped, folded, kind of hanged or stretched or sewn, and sometimes wrapped around the space. You could see these wires coming from one point into the next point. It's for me, the space is to pose questions about the interplay between economic exchanges, subjectivity, representation, and othering. And further, to also explore a glimpse like in politics of globalization, consumer exchanges between the East and West, and the social and gender norms within the Afghan bazaars. I am also really interested in making larger scale textile pieces. I guess my need to create larger scale artworks comes from my interest in world building. These worlds do not necessarily come from an imaginary space, but however, they are from my childhood memories and experiences living as a refugee too. I guess having my work uh, within such a large scale similarly aligns it with power. And I wanted some of those pieces in this installation to be large so that it's also taken seriously on an institutional level. Since there hasn't been any representation or written around contemporary figurative art form from Afghanistan, this format is also used as a defense mechanism in my practice in order to challenge the Western norms. Mm -hmm.